Hey there, fellow photographers, food content creators, whatever you want to call it. Today, we're going to do something extra, extra exciting. So today, I will let AI analyze my food photography work. So you hear it right. So we're going to put AI under pressure a little bit to analyze my photography. It's usually I'm the one who's judging food photography created by AI generated, but this time we're going to do the opposite one. So I'm going to be the one who's going to be smashed. So let's see how it's going to go. First thing, let's talk about tools we're going to be using. So I'm going to upload my photos to ChatGPT and then I will like let it analyze it in the sense that see what I can like adjust, what I can't adjust so it's like your virtual photography coach which sounds so weird so i guess um yeah we can close that put the circle now but without further ado let's see if like professional versus uh, ai generated what they can do so i'm gonna upload a batch of photos and then we're gonna analyze it so we'll see where it's gonna go I know it might be a little bit cringy, but it might be awesome as well. But let's see what we can do, what AI can see and what can I adjust as well on my portfolio. So maybe you have some other techniques there, but uh, what I'm personally doing is like, I think like that version of GPT is the easiest in the sense that what I do is that I just like use the camera here, photo here. I know it's so, so creepy and it's almost like a black mirror. So I guess GPT knows everything about me, but it's okay. Like, <laughs> like we just have to come uh, like get used to it, I guess. Or we'll see, like there's so many conspiracy theories, the theories but uh, let's skip them for now. Uh, let's just use it to analyze my personal photography. So what I use is that I just make a photo with my phone app because again, like this has the voice version, so I don't have to do the typing because the typing takes forever in my opinion. Maybe you're different, but that's my experience. And then, yeah, so I just make a photo of it. Da -da 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 -da. It's like analysis uh, and like telling a lot of things in the sense that the wool is clean. Da -da -da -da. By the way, this photo here is, uh, yeah, it was Pink, uh, Pink Lady shortlist, so Food Therapy of the Year as well. So I guess it should be a good photo. And yeah, so it says like a lot of compliments, I would say. Like you're going to read it from the screen as well here. But it's also asking me like what kind of lighting setup do you use? How do you plan your compositions before shooting? Da 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 da. And then tips and tricks. Yeah, it's just basically giving me more ideas. But it's not saying that many bad things. Okay, let's ask like this. Let's do it. No, I changed my mind. Squirrel. I may talk. Squirrel. My master. Uh, for this food photo. And how can I make it better? Dun, dun, dun. So obviously it's going to think a little bit. Blah, 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 blah. So this noodle dish or spaghetti, which is quinoa spaghetti, to be honest, with pesto. So this one says that um, negative feedback for the photo is that central fork can be distracting and lead the eye away from the food. The background feels a bit too plain and sterile. Okay. Lighting highlights are over -explained. Okay, I think it's like the thing that I made a photo out of this one. So it's like, it's getting a little bit different data. Um, I should most likely upload the photo straight from it, not use my camera phone. And styling is, this appears somehow monogrammatic and could use more color variety. So according to GPT, it's way too cream and boring. I like cream. <laughs> but that's another thing with uh, photography, or even when you get like a feedback from your own photos is thing that it's uh it's so subjective like it's like like with our things everywhere it's like one thing it's good the other one thinks it's not da, 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 because that's that's like the that's the main thing in art like there's so many opinions your job there is like to keep on creating and then uh, for the right photo which is uh the sandwich one to turmeric turmeric bread it the uh, negative feedback it give me that um, centered composition is static and lacks of it's, it's lack of dynamic or so crumbs on the surface can look messy rather than appetizing mm, i don't agree with that gpt you're wrong this time because i think it 
in some human elements, but obviously for AI brain, it says that, ooh, there's so much mess, we need to clean it up. So it's like mostly like trained like that, that less mess. But I think like little crumbs are bringing the human element. But this is my personal opinion, it doesn't matter. So sandwich layers are unevenly stacked, making it look untidy. Again, I think it's a human element. <laughs> In the sense that, uh, yeah, I think like when everything is way too perfect, it's like too stage or like it's like set up in a stage. So then AI can make the photos as well. So, but then this is brings me to another thought that I would say that brings some human element to it in the sense that it makes it more human and it's definitely not AI generated. A little recap here. So this kind of process is definitely a little bit of eye opening. I can understand like some things that I need to cover more maybe and adjust more. But what I'm saying is more like this, that not yet, it can't replace completely because AI can't replace the creative process of it. It can't replace the storytelling process of it yet in the sense that we have to bring more human element into the whole work uh, because again like it's not there but definitely use it as an extra tool to play around to adjust everything and then you can't imagine what can happen so if you like this kind of content like and subscribe and all the good stuff but leave in the down in the comments as well like what's your experience there we want to know your stuff as well because that uh, keeps us going and that helps this channel grow as well see you next time bye